following is a Novus Renaissance audio production. Part 2. Heresy Countered We now present our counter to the four pernicious heresies of the rings of power that disgrace the name of Tolkien orthodoxy and cause grave injury to his legendarium. Section 1. Ignorance. The First Heresy. So, as the Second World War of his lifetime raged around him, Tolkien crafted an adventure about beings from very different societies putting aside their differences to stamp out an overpowering evil. This was, of course, The Lord of the Rings. Vanity Fair article writers Anthony Bresnikin and Joanna Robinson. The First Counter Thus Tolkien Spake the Lord of the Rings is, of course, fundamentally a religious and Catholic work. Unconsciously so at first, but consciously in the revision. That is why I've not put in or have cut out partially all reference to anything like religion, to cults or practices in the imaginary world. For the religious element is absorbed into the story and the symbolism. However, that is very clumsily put and sounds more self-important than I feel. For as a matter of fact, I have consciously planned very little, and should chiefly be grateful for having been brought up since I was eight in a faith that has nourished me and taught me all the little that I know, and that I owe to my mother, who clung to her conversion and died young, largely through hardships of poverty resulting from it. Bresnikin and Robinson's statement reveals they know nothing of Tolkien's masterpiece. Their comments could be overlaid upon any genre template and offer not a single strand of intimate connection with the heart and soul of Tolkien's story. But then again, how would the clogs of the machine's theocracy have the freedom to think for themselves? Bresnikin and Robinson do not even profess to have read any of Tolkien's works. They utterly fail to grasp the marvelous Roman Catholic worldview of his secondary world of Middle-earth, which is the literary DNA fabric of its sacred reality. If any male, female, or creature professes to love Tolkien but hates his worldview, they are false. They who proclaim to love if Tolkien, yet understandeth not his worldview, can neither hope to create a new film, show, or series of his secondary world. 